าปีสองพันเจ็ดค่ะมีความรู้สึกว่าภาษาตัวเองไม่ค่อยดีเท่าไหร่ก็คือตั้งใจว่าจะมาเรียนภาษาอังกฤษค่ะที่เจอกันตอนแรกก็คือดูสิดีค่ะได้เที่ยวได้ไปนู่นไปนี่ก็คือเดทกันประมาณปีเกือบสองปีค่ะถึงได้แต่งงานจำอะไรไม่ค่อยได้ค่ะตอนแรกๆไม่สามารถกลืนได้ก็คือกินข้าวไม่ได้ขนาดนั่งนั่งยังไม่ได้เลยค่ะตอนนั้นตั้งแต่อยู่โรงพยาบาลสองเดือนแล้วได้กลับบ้านมาแล้วคือดีใจมากโชคดีมากค่ะถ้าไม่มีครั้งก็คืออยู่ไม่ได้จนถึงตอนนี้นะคะดีใจที่ได้กลับมาอยู่บ้านด้วยกันมากินข้าวด้วยกันมาอยู่ในที่ที่แบบว่าเราคุ้นเคยแล้วก็มีความสุขเป็นโครงการลักษณะค่ะจบมหาลัยขอนแก่นค่ะก็คือจบแล้วทีนี้ก็เริ่มหางานทำพอดีตอนนั้นทำงานเริ่มไปนี่หนอนค่ะทำงานที่โรงแรมค่ะเป็นเป็นฟอนเดสมีความรู้สึกว่าภาษาตัวเองไม่ค่อยดีเท่าไหร่ก็คือตั้งใจว่าจะมาเรียนภาษาอังกฤษค่ะก็เลยพยายามหาโปรแกรมเพื่อนส่วนมากมาเป็นออร์แพกที่อเมริกาค่ะเพื่อที่สนิทกันเขาก็เลยชวนให้มาด้วยกันคือมาปี2007ค่ะ15 16ปีแล้วค่ะอยู่ที่บ้านกับโฮสแล้วก็ช่วยดูแลลูกเด็กๆค่ะโฮสคือดีมากเขาจะแบบว่าลงอะไรก็ได้เขาจะจ่ายตังค์ให้หมดเลยมันอิสระจริงแล้วก็มีเพื่อนสนิทเยอะที่นี่ด้วยค่ะจากมหาลัยด้วยกันที่มาก็คือได้เที่ยวได้ไปนู่นไปนี่ก็คือหาเงินเองใช้จ่ายเองไม่ต้องขอพ่อแม่อะไรค่ะ Back when online dating first happens, you met um, online on a on a website called Plenty of Fish, and we had our our first date in New York City, and and we met at Grand Central. Kanlea was just the most kind-hearted soul. Just knew right off the bat, like she was she was definitely the the one I wanted to pursue. So over a year of dating, Kanlea's visa was expiring. So I was like, okay, I. I Can't lose her, so I popped the question, and it was a very easy decision to make because uh, I needed her to stay here with me. We had our kid in 2017, and then three years later uh, is when she had the stroke. It's a day that I'll always remember. It's very. Detailed in my head, obviously, because it was such a traumatic experience. Kalea was feeling a little down that day. She did complain of a, a minor headache, so we were in our living room just watching TV, the three of us. Um, and I asked, "Would you like some uh, pizza?" And she said no. And then face down on the couch, and I knew something was wrong right away. So I called 911. She was unresponsive. She was like looking to the left, and she had her arm up, and it was very hard to communicate with her. The ambulance came. They got her. They took her to the hospital. Couldn't leave my son, so I had to call my parents or somebody to come walk so I could go to the hospital. So I went there, and nobody could figure out why 35-year-old healthy young mom had a massive stroke um, on the right side of her brain. They gave her some medication to try to unclot it. Unfortunately, that that did not work. They took her to a different hospital where they had to do a procedure where they go up a main artery in your leg all the way up into your brain, and they unclotted it. She was recovering, and then two days later, she had another massive stroke, even bigger, same spot, and there was there was nothing they could do to unclot it because the brain was still swelling and doing its thing. So unfortunately, they just had to let it be. So it did a good amount of damage up there. And at that time, the stroke made her brain swell so much that they had to do a procedure called a craniotomy, which is where they take the skull off to let the brain swell out. Otherwise, everything would just collapse on itself, and she would pass away. So, so it was a life-saving surgery where the brain swelled out, and then it finally went down due to ovarian cancer that she had that we were not aware of. She complained of her abdomen one day. They found a 10-centimeter mass in her abdomen, and then she had to do the long journey of uh, chemo therapy and rehab, all while her skull was off. So the helmet, she had to wear a helmet, and then she was rushed down to New York City after she was in a good, good enough condition to get the ovarian cancer taken care of. Uh, she had a, a full hysterectomy, so she, everything down there was it spread. So they got rid of all of it through chemo and rehab, and then just. Working really hard at it, we we've come so far. Uh, as you can see from our videos on social media, that 
she has improved way beyond expectations จะมีเคียงกระดาษบ้างไม่สามารถกลืนได้คือกินข้าวไม่ได้ขนาดนั่งนั่งยังไม่ได้เลยค่ะตอนนั้นตั้งแต่ตอนที่อยู่โรงพ